Queen Elizabeth's workload will be getting a bit lighter amid her health concerns. We've got all the details in today's Royal News. According to the Sunday Telegraph, the palace has officially changed the monarch's role as head of state to a more condensed description. The outlet noted earlier this month that the annual report of the monarchy included a change from the 13 bulleted points previously used to detail Elizabeth's position. The duties that she must fulfill have also been removed from the list. Now, the official shakeup comes after the royal began limiting her public appearances earlier this year. She previously experienced several health issues, including testing positive for COVID in February. At the time, a source exclusively told Us Weekly that the Queen was focused on her recovery. The source said she showed extraordinary courage and is thankful for all the love and support she's received. And as long as she feels able to work, that's what she'll continue to do. It's typical of her selfless character, and everyone is just in awe of her resolve and bravery. She's truly one of a kind and an example to everyone around her. One month later, a second source did tell Us Weekly that the Queen was advised to take it easy before her Platinum Jubilee celebration in June. An insider previously told us the Queen has been advised by her loved ones and trusted advisors to go a lot easier on herself, even if that means missing more functions than she would like. The other factor here is that she wanted to be as close to full strength as possible for the Jubilee celebrations, which she's been looking forward to immensely. Now, during the festivities, Elizabeth chose to watch the Trooping the Color from Buckingham Palace balcony before being absent from other activities due to discomfort. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.